What's up ladies and gents, Noli here with what I'm hoping will be a pretty interesting little Payday 2 mechanical deep dive. Recently, I was messing around heisting when I noticed the Payday gang are ridiculously quick across the ground considering they're carrying heavy weaponry and not exactly dressed with speed in mind. Which got me thinking, just how fast actually are we and how fast can we go at peak performance? Precisely what I'm going to find out today is whether Jimmy, the substance addicted deuterologist, can actually run 100 in-game meters faster than the current men's world record holder, Usain Bolt. Of course, the substances inside Jimmy's body would certainly get him banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency, but the Payday Gang not going to let a trivial factor like that stop them from going for some world records. But first, as many of you will already be aware, I still have tailor-made gaming computers courtesy of the guys at Apex Gaming PCs on sale right now. If you haven't checked out the likes of the Hardcore Heister in honor of Jimmy himself and King Amongst Thieves, now may be the time, especially as we move closer and closer to that big Payday 3 launch date. With that said, let's start Jimmy's transformation into an Olympic level athlete. To reach the maximum possible movement speed, you need a perfect storm of conditions and a set of skills and perks. Let's work on buffing Jimmy up all the way from his base sprint speed to his physical peak. Just quickly drawing on how movement speed is measured in Payday 2, courtesy of the long guide as ever, what you see in your inventory is your base walking speed in decimeters per second. So the starting 35 in the ballistic vest means we move 3.5 meters per second when just walking, which is pretty fast to say the least. However, to reach Usain Bolt's world record speed, we're going to need to hit 10.44 meters per second. Now, Jimmy simply sprinting takes him up to 5.75 meters in a second, but we're still just over halfway there. To demonstrate this without skills or training, he can run the 100 meters, as you're seeing now, in just over 16 seconds. This is faster because we're now wearing the suit, which gives us our first 1.05 speed multiplier. Not a bad time for such a well-dressed man, but we can do a lot better. So let's get into some more marginally practical clothes and start the improvements. Initially, let's add duck and cover for that 25% faster sprint speed, specifically amping up the sprint modifier. This won't show up in the inventory, but will make a huge difference in game. Next, it's parkour aced for 10% movement speed, which takes us to over 4 meters per second even when just power walking. Add on to that the full Yakuza perk deck effect and we get an extra 20% total. You can get the most out of this perk with just a clever use of molotovs, but for the sake of saving me a little time, I've manually set my health to the minimum for max speed from the start. This is actually entirely possible in game via normal means, but somewhat impractical to do consistently with some of the strats I'll use later on. Now we've got the most obvious movement skills, let's test out Jimmy's new time on the dockyard. Immediately, it's evident how much faster he already is, we almost break the elusive 10 second barrier on the second time of asking. We are not even close to running out of ideas or coke, so Usain is probably trembling even more than Jimmy. There's one final permanent boost we can go for here, although it is going to force us to go loud. Partners in Crime Basic offers a further 10% movement boost whenever we have a convert fighting for us, so heading in we cajole this friendly security guard to coach us and hit sprint once again. Even though we had a pitch invader on the track, by my probably slightly inaccurate watch, we're down to 9.7 seconds, just 0.12 off the world record all whilst packing heat. Jimmy was out of base enhancements, but a thrill seeker like him could always find new ways to get more out of his legs, and fortunately, there were two more situational speed boosts we could access the hard way. First, we have Running From Death, which when aced out, gives your heister a massive 30% movement speed for 10 seconds after being revived. Alongside that, we have Second Wind, which also grants 30% speed, but for only 5 seconds, and is procced by simply having your armor broken. The difficulty will be setting up this self-inflicted damage right beside the starting line and then getting off a messiah revive, but that wasn't about to stop me from going for probably the most coveted world record on earth. With a bit of tenacity, Jimmy invented the world's strangest sprint start ever seen, taking a hostage, shooting his own feet with an explosive shotgun before killing a man to get back to his feet lightning quick. 
Unfortunately, second wing stays active even if you go down, so all available multipliers in single player were active at once, creating the perfect conditions for Jimmy to make history. Even without getting the full duration out of second wind, Jimmy made it from the start to the finish line in 6.42 seconds. This didn't just break the 100 meter world record, it smashed it out of the stratosphere, beating Usain's personal best by over 3 seconds. If this actually happened in reality, it would redefine how we see the upper limit of human capabilities. For a bit of context, a cheater in the US ran a standing 100m dash in 5.95 seconds, becoming the fastest recorded sprint by anything on the planet. A coked up schizophrenic just ran only 0.5 seconds slower than that. And he wasn't finished yet. All we now needed to perfect this time was a good friend and a little inspiration. You see, Inspire's second, lesser noted effect grants you the ability to shout at your teammates and further increase their movement and reload speed by 20%. This could be the final push to make Jimmy the fastest creature on Earth, even with half the number of legs than his toughest competition. So, in stepped a friend to cheer him on. Now he didn't need any tricky revival strats at the starting line, he could go at the sound of the gun, quite literally giving him a rocket powered start. And go he did, activating all time boosts simultaneously and hitting max velocity out of the blocks. That was fast. Except it was so fast, time slowed down at the start, meaning it was very difficult for myself as the judge to come in and work out a finishing time. So with one final mod injected into his bloodstream and slow-mo turned off, Jimmy went for it. Even with streakers on the track, I'm fairly sure we broke the sound barrier on this one, reaching the finish line in exactly 5.46 seconds, almost cutting the current 100 meter world record in half and moving at a speed of over 18 meters per second in the process. Absolute insanity. So, now you know who the fastest man, no, being, on the planet truly is. It's actually insane how quickly you can make your heisters move in Payday 2, to the point that nothing about how your character is moving is being properly processed on the other end, leading to fairly odd sights for your fellow heisters. Whilst builds containing this exact combination of skills are few and far between, speed is pretty powerful in Payday 2, and even with a lower proc of Yakuza, you'll still be zooming, so maybe take the race car build out for a spin once in a while. If you are wondering how slow you can get on the other end of things, just drop all skills I showed you before, make sure you've got a perk deck without blending in equipped, and then crouch walk your way around with an artifact on your back whilst wearing the ICTV. After the thrill of the speed I had previously, this feels pretty rough. Expect the 100 meter dash to take you well over a minute. Overall, I'm a huge fan of this limit breaking style of video, so do let me know if you want to see more weird payday stats and optimizations. For now, I'm thinking of the highest and lowest possible damage in game, as well as the highest optimized damage per second. I had a blast putting this one together and always love messing around with payday's inner workings. It'll also be interesting to see if you guys can get even faster times using the skills I've shown today and break my standing world record. That said, I've got a few interesting videos coming your way this December, so stay tuned, and I'll see you all very soon. As ever, thank you very much to my mean infamy patrons and above. If you want to join that infamous club to see yourself in the credits or get early exclusive access to my videos, including the story videos, check out my Patreon link below. Remember the Discord is open to all if you crave some more payday discussion. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all very soon for the next one.